Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of our atheism information. Everything about atheism, go to www.conservapedia.com forward slash atheism. Please favorite this video and share it with everyone you know. We want to get the word out on this uh, information. There's a lot of information here. It's great, great source. So let's go to part two. And now we're going to talk about atheism and communism. Let's talk about North Korea. Uh, we left off on North Korea, so let's we'll start there and we'll go through it. It says, North Korea is a repressive communist state and officially atheistic. The North Korean government practices brutal repression and atrocities against North Korean Christians. Now, this part's uh, phenomenal, it's shocking. It has been estimated, and, and let's go through this slow, that in less than the past 100 years, governments under the banner of communism have caused the death of somewhere between 40 million, 472,000 to 259 million, 432,000 human lives. Dr. R. J. Rummel, Professor Emeritus of Political Science at the University of Hawaii, is the scholar who first coined the term democide. Now what that means is death by government. Dr. Uh, Rummel's mid-estimate regarding the loss of life due to communism is that communism caused the death of approximately 110,000, uh, 110 million, I should say, 110 million 286,000 people between 1917 and 1987. Now, <clears throat> it is interesting that evolution seems to walk hands in hands with atheism for the most part. It says the theory of evolution played a prominent role in regards to atheistic communism. And there's a link here you can click um, and it'll go through all that, but let's just keep reading. Communists in particular, Stalinists, favored a version of Lamarckism called Lysenkoism, Lysenkoism, excuse me, developed by the atheist Trofim Denisovich Lysenko. Lysenko was made member of the Supreme Soviet and head of the Institute of Genetics of the Soviet Academy of Sciences. Now watch what happens. This Lysenko guy puts a bunch of people to death. Later, Lysenko became president of the All-Union Academy of Agricultural Sciences. Many geneticists, uh, many geneticists were imprisoned and executed for their science. Now, you notice they had a different type of science, which wasn't evolutionary science, and agricultural policies based on Lysenkoism that were adopted under Stalin and Mao caused famines and death of millions. Now. Let's go through criticisms of atheism, and then we're going to cover atheism and the mass murder through history. And again, uh, you can go up here to conservapedia.com forward slash atheism. <clears throat> Commonly cited arguments against atheism and for theism. Let's go there first, and then we'll hit that. You have theological argument. The universe exhibits overwhelming evidence of deliberate, intelligent, pur purposeful design, which implies an intelligent designer. You have all these arguments, cosmological argument, ontological argument, um, experimental arguments for the existence of God, experimental arguments for the existence of God, arguments based on personal experience and human intuition. According to philosopher Alvin Plantinga, belief in the existence of God exists is a properly basic belief and not based on inference from other beliefs but is rationally justified due to one's circumstances of immediate experience of God. Now, you have presuppositional apologetics and Bible scientific knowledge. Um, now let's get to some shocking information, atheism and mass murder. Christian apologist Gregory Kokel wrote relative to atheism and mass murder that the assertion is that religion has caused most of the killing and bloodshed in the world. There are people who make accusations and assertions that are empirically false. This is one of them. It is not religion that causes 
uh, you know, bloodshed and killing in the world. Watch what happened. Kokul details the number of people involved in various events involving theism and compares them to the much higher tens of millions of people killed under regimes which advocated atheism. Cole summarized by stating, it is true that it's possible that religion could produce evil, and generally when we look closer at the detail it produces evil because the individual people are actually living in rejection of the tenets of Christianity and a rejection of the God that they're supposed to be following. So it can produce it, but the historical fact is that outright rejection of God and institutionalizing atheism actually does produce evil on incredible levels. We're talking about tens of millions of people as a result of the rejection of God. Now this is interesting. Nobel Prize winner Alexander Solzhenitsyn was asked to account for the great tragedies that occurred under, under the brutal communist regime he and the fellow citizens suffered under. Now here's what he said. He stated this the following in relation to atheism. Here's a quote for him. Nobel Prize winner Alexander Solzhenitsyn. He says, over a half century ago while I was still a child, I recall hearing a number of old people offered the following explanation for the great disasters that had befallen Russia. Men have forgotten God. That's why all this has happened. Since then, I have spent well nigh 50 years working on the history of our revolution. In the process, I have read hundreds of books, collected hundreds of personal testimonies, and have already contributed eight volumes of my own toward the effort of clearing away the rubble left by the upheaval. But if I were asked today to formulate as concisely as possible the main cause of the ruinous revela revolution that swallowed up some 60 million of our people, I could not put it more accurately than to repeat, quote, men have forgotten God. That's why all this happened. Now, um, this is going to be the end of part two. Next, we're going to cover Atheist in America and Charity. Atheist in America and Charity. And I'll give you, a, we have about a minute or two, so let me start and then I'll break it up. This will be the end of part two and then we're going to go to part three. Concerning the issue of atheism and uncharitableness, the evidence indicates that per capita, Charitable giving by atheists and agnostics in America is significantly less than by theists, according to a study by the Barna Group. Now, I'm going to get into the study, and we're going to go through some actual numbers and dollars amounts. And again, uh, there's the link, conservapedia.com forward slash atheism. Click more info uh, below this video to the right, and I'll put the link there too. Next, we'll be covering atheists in America and charity. This is the end of part two. We're now going to part three.